What is up guys, it is Nick. We are here on Fantasy Star Online 2 to start this series up. Let's get into it. It is 8 o'clock right now, so I'm hoping we are good to go. So, I'm going to choose Get Started. Character will you create will be registered on the ship server named Ship01FEOH. Please like the ship when you play from now on. Players invited to their friend. Let's get into this. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we are all good to go. Looks like they sent out a tweet just now. Uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. All right, let's do this. Uh, player ID name is the character string assigned to each player for use in communicating once you begin play. You can change this name to anything you like. First time is free. Sweet. Okay, so we need to choose a character. So we need to create a new character. Oracle. A giant fleet on an interplanetary voyage. Its inception made deep space travel possible, ushering in a new chapter in history. Now our sphere of activity spans across multiple galaxies. Thus did Oracle form a force to explore the unknown planets it discovers along the way. This force, Arx, explores and surveys alien planets. Arx is comprised of four species that belong to Oracle. Humans, natural all-rounders. Gnomans, photon manipulators. Casts, sturdy mechanical beings. Dumans, martial masters. Here in Arx, each species covers for the other's shortcomings and works together. Looks like we've arrived. We're approaching the planet Nevarius. It's uncivilized, with aggressive wildlife. Whatever you do, stay sharp. Good luck out there. Okay, so... Greetings, Ox recruits. You have done well. You now stand poised to take your first steps into the vast frontier of space. If you're prepared to face the challenge of the unknown, enter your personal path. Then, from all of us, welcome aboard. Okay, so I will... I will edit all of my stuff in terms of... Um, what I'm trying to say. In terms of audio and all that different stuff after this first episode. I'll go back and edit a little bit after I get done with this. But yeah, I think... Let's see. I think I wanted to play as a D-human... Yeah, I think D-Human. I mean, the casts are pretty cool. They make they make them look way cooler here than they did in, like, that other thing. But I think the, the Newman look pretty cool as well. But I think I'm going to go with the D-Human female. I think this is going to be my choice. So now we have to pick class. So Hunter is close quarters combat, high health and defense. Not really what I want. We have the Braver, which is an Archer class. You can switch between classes at any point, so I'm not super concerned. But right now, Ranger has the lead, but I haven't really looked at all the classes. Bouncers, um, in close aerial combat and techniques, or skilled in close quarters combat. Um, I think, I think the, um, I think the Summoner will be fun. Because this class pets or summons pets to inflict mid-range damage range attacks upon enemies. Harnessing the many capabilities of their various pets makes summoners highly versatile fighters on the battlefield. I think this is going to be a fun class, so I'm going to go with that. Um, looks like you have to select a base character. Um... I'm going to... I think six is probably the base I want to use. I'm not great at creating characters, so, like, it's got to be, like, partly there. Okay, so, character creation lets you edit your character. If you skip character creation, you will begin as your chosen base type. You can edit your character for free at the salon for the first five hours after creating them. This concession does not apply to actions that require a color change pass. Okay, well, let's just 
let's just create the characters. Um, here, we'll, okay. Simple, basic stuff. Okay, so customized face. Base, face type. Um, I kind of like... I mean, the face type is... They're all... Rel hold on, hold on. We'll come back to the face style. I don't want to take too long on this, but I do want to get it right. So, we want a good hairstyle. Um, I like that hairstyle. So, as always, I'm basing my character off of something, but I'm not going to be, like, super dedicated to the one look on this character. And, like, since I, since I like that one hairstyle... I probably will just go with it, even though it's not perfect fit. I do really like this hairstyle. Why is it going up? Yeah, I really like this hairstyle, so that's what we're going to go with. And then hair color. Okay, so it's going to be based off of Siri, like I base everything off of, because... But I don't know if I want to, like, be fully dedicated to the normal... I always have her look like we're it's gonna be based loosely off of that that's just gonna be the name we can always adjust it later I'm sure there's advanced stuff that I can do I really am fine if I have to like you know fork over a little bit money at the salon to change this at a later date I kind of just want to get into it which it sounds like we can at a later date mess with all this and so I do want to customize a tire so that's the outfit it gives. Um, let's see. I think I like these better. Um, white or black? Ooh, I kind of like that. I'm gonna go with that. I want I want that outfit color. I like that outfit color. Where's the decal go? It's like under her hair. It doesn't even matter. Um, we can get glasses. There's hats, glasses, there's the radio com, which I kind of like the one that we have on. And then there's necklaces, which look like, look like something that we can adjust in the future. I really just want to get into this. So character data, select a... I think I want two. Okay. Test. Expression test. Okay, I think that all... I think it's good enough. We'll obviously mess with it in the future. I just won't do it with you guys having to watch. Because I don't want to... I don't want I don't want the entire video to be me messing around with this. So, yes. Let's get into this. But yeah, I don't Um, please select a difficulty. This will not affect the difficulty of the game beyond the pro Okay, well, I don't know how to play the game, so we're just going to go with casual. But yeah, I will adjust everything going forward. Um, I try to talk a little bit louder than normal just to make sure because we don't have the audio messed with yet hmm? oh cheers name's often pleased to meet you mate i really appreciate this pso2 that i do not have to do all the reading i very much appreciate that no need to search the room it's you i'm talking to mate is you mate fates put us together for this mission so let's make the most of it the teleportation coordinates set all ARC's operatives, proceed with your mission. The, the, the audio voice acting is fine. I just, you can tell that it was Japanese initially. Which you can- I guess they're all set. Looks like we've got a nice and easy spot for our first mission, eh, mate? Let's just stay nice and chill. You can mess with the, you can change it to Japanese. I probably won't, just because I'm. I don't want to have to read. So leave it in English, but I think the Japanese voice acting is probably a lot better, is my point. I'm hoping it'll let me pause it here, and here we go. Um, For some reason, I'm a bit nervous to jump into that teleport. Okay, so we have the options here. 
I'm gonna look at these real quick. But, hey, ox are courageous. Let's give it a shot, mate. Okay, so sound effect. I want to turn this down to 50. And then, like I said, I'll adjust this going on in the future. I'm gonna set that at 75. Video playback volume. Set that down to 65. And I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm not gonna do too much. Too much changing here. So let's apply the changes. What other options do we have here? So we have text display options. Do I have the... Okay, so we want those large for now. Camera settings. Setting. Can I... Is there a... Is there bigger... Like, okay, so we have all the key bindings. Okay, well... I will me I'll mess with all that stuff later. Okay. So let's get into this. Let's try out our first thing here. So Okay, sweet. So those are our different attacks. X, Y, and R B. If I hold L T, it gives me some different some different stuff. Okay, so similar to Black Desert, uh, but a little bit easier. I probably will try to increase the user interface a little bit, and I also probably need to move my camera. Like I said, I haven't played this before, so I don't actually know where we need to put the camera. I'll move it in for the next episode. So in the bottom left is like my health and my level and all that different stuff. So clearly cannot be there. We don't want it down there. So I'll take a note and figure out where I want to put it. I'm gonna I'm gonna write it down so I don't forget while it does this nice intro to the first level. I have like a. Well, isn't this a sight? The whole area is covered top to bottom in nothing but green. It really gets the old blood pumping. I have like a sheet of paper here that I just take notes on every once in a while. No matter what I'm doing, whether I'm recording a video or researching for sports or whatever I'm doing, I just take notes on it. Now hold on. Let's not get too eager too quickly. Ah, oh, that's right. This is our first taste of actual combat in the field. I guess we ought to practice the basics first, then. So I'm not sure if this is, like, BDO as in, like, I named my character this so no one else can have it, or what, because... Yeah, I don't... I am Hilda, the operator. I will begin your certification mission. First, I will check your vision. Take a look around you. Okay, I am looking around. Good. You didn't seem to have any trouble. Next, I will confirm your maneuverability. Move to the specified location. I like when you spin around in a circle. This, uh, your your summoned pet is like inside of you. Looks like you have no problem with movement. Next, I will confirm how you jump. You see those blocks in front of you? Jump over them. Okay. What, wait. So there's like no double jump. Okay. It looked like. Good. Okay. Now I'll confirm how you attack. Teleporting a virtual target. Use your equipped weapon to attack it. Wait. Um. Ah, there we go. Okay. Let's kick some ass. Wait. Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay. It's kind of, it's a little bit weird attacking, but I, I like it. Using the pet to do all your attacking is a little... Next, I'll confirm your photon arts. Teleporting virtual targets. Wait, photon, okay, so photon, oh. Oh, okay. I kind of get this. I also kind of don't get it. I mean, so you hold LT, Y, and it goes to the target. And then once it's there, you just tap Y and it'll hit. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's, it's a little weird, but okay, I get it. I'm not sure how big of a fan I'm going to be of this, because it's a... 
What, what's happening? Okay. I don't know what that was. Uh, but yeah, it's a little... It's a little weird. Um, did I miss a target? I don't know. It's weird having to just stand here and tap buttons and watch that do the damage instead of, like, myself doing the damage. Did I miss a target? Like, what happened here? Switch to the bed. Good. Now don't okay. forget that feeling. Now, it's time to commence your practical training. I, Proceed. I guess I did it wrong. But I'm not really sure how I did it wrong. I thought that's what it wanted me to do. Okay, so this is a real fight. Is that a Sylvan? It sure seems like a handful, but... Uh, I don't get the feeling it wants to be friends. Mate, it looks like we're in for a brawl. Ooh, okay. I... It's still weird. This is still really weird, but I I like it. Okay, I'm kind of getting used to it. It's a, it's a weird combat system, just because. Well, I mean. Multiple enemies have appeared. Don't forget to dodge their attacks. I don't know how to dodge, but sure. Right trigger dodge. Oh, it dodges me. I don't have to dodge for. Wand, I don't think. I hope I can... I, I really hope that I can name my pet. Because that would be sick. Hello? How do I go to him? There we go. I like the dodge. That's like a really cool looking dodge. Enemy suppression confirmed. You did well. Proceed. I kind of like this. It's like kind of teaching you like terrain. Get out. Get up here, buddy. Um. Oh, wait. There's another enemy. Okay. Wait. Can you? Hello? Go. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out how to best do stuff like when you need to lock on. Because I'm not very good at that. Um, okay. Killed them all three at the same time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get... There's gonna be a lot... There's gonna be a steep learning curve here for me. I got about three hours to learn it before those, eight, or those urgent missions become up and running. So, yeah, I got uh, got some work to do before those come up. Hello, what am I supposed to do? Is there more enemies? Don't. He hello? What am I supposed to do? Um, do I just get all the way up here? And... Oh, here we go. Where were they that they took so long to get in here? Ooh, I, I like that, like, how you can combo them, like, up into the air. I don't really know how I did that, but... I'm kind of just... You know, we're just a little bit button spammy right now, because I don't really know. Like, I get some really cool stuff off, like right there I, when I just did there. That was great. Oh, you know what? I think I get it. Okay, I, I think I get it. I think I get it now. Okay, I, I think I was being stupid. Whoa. Hello, what is this? This is weird. Okay, we don't want, I don't want to be in that. That was weird. I don't know what that was. So is that it? Hello? Is it going to spawn more enemies? 
Is it like spawning them out there and then they're just taking forever to walk in here? <laughs> this is really... This part right here is weird. Clearly there's something else it wants me to do. Um, hello? And I'm fully confused. Oh, oh, I got you. Wait, no, this is where we came in from, right? Yeah, this is where we came in from. I was like, oh, maybe there was just two paths and I'm an idiot and I went the wrong way, but that's not right. Um, hello? So let's, okay, well, well, we've tried to figure this out. Um, so, does it, it does change the attack. So when you hold, so you can see, right now X, Y, and RB have those logos, then when I hold LT, they change logos. So, interesting. Though I've gone fully confused on what I'm supposed to do right here. Um... Is my game, like, broke? Hello? Because there's nothing here for me to do. I thought that, like, it would be like... Uh, let me get... Uh... Okay, let's go back and see. I'm going to take a quick peek, and then I might reload the game. Because I don't know what's happening right now. Because... Oh. This is interesting, this zoomed in. I'm assuming this is more of a thing for, like, the archer and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's where we came from, obviously. Maybe if I run all the way back here, it'll trigger something to work correctly. If not, we'll, uh, we'll take, like, a half-second break, and then I'll try to reload the game. And I'll move my face cam. It looks like top left is going to be best for this game. So I'll move my web I'll move webcam. I'll move my face cam up there. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and reload. I'll be back in just a hot second. Alright, guys. So don't ask me why on earth. But they only have one server up. And so when I had to disconnect to try to fix my game, I can't get back in now. So... I am just going to upload the video as is now. Uh, hopefully I can get back in soon enough. I'm just going to watch basketball and sit here and mess with it. Hopefully I can find my way back in soon enough. But sadly for now, I can't get back in. They only have one server open. Um, I might try to go to bed. It's 8.30. I don't know when's the last time I went to bed at 8.30. But I might try to go to sleep and get up real early in the morning. Because this is an NA only game right now. I should be able to get into the server fairly easy at like 3 a.m. So I might try to go to sleep and get up at like 2 or 3 a.m. and record a bunch of videos for you guys, but I haven't quite decided yet. I'd have to go buy melatonin because there's no way I'd be able to go to sleep right now. Um, but that's an option that I'm thinking about. I'll probably give it till 10 or 11 before I try to even go to sleep. But yeah, I wanted to update you guys. That's what happened. Before it was giving me an error message and kicking me back out, so... I don't, I don't even know what it's doing anymore. But yeah, I'll get this first episode up for you guys. Um, please let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want to have changed. Here we go. It's going to authenticate the ID, and it's going to fail. Um, I'll show it so you guys know. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Any things you guys want to specifically see. I was going to run two characters, but I'm just going to run the one, and I'm going to try to record as much as I possibly can on the character. So... Yeah, I'm just going to try to record as much as physically possible. I don't really know how the events are going to work if we can't get into the game to play it. Yeah, there's the error message in whatever language that is. And here you can see here, there's six ships. Five of them are offline. So, I don't really know what you're supposed to do here. It's kind of pointless. I mean, you can't get into the game. But yeah, I liked what I played of the game, I guess. Uh, but yeah, guys... We'll let this whatever. I'll try to get in. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Should be out tomorrow morning. At worst, it'll be out tomorrow afternoon. So I will catch you guys in that video.
Peace.